Hello, soup users. So last Monday, I gave you a challenge to find as many ways as possible to add articulations in Finale. I think you're going to find this video to be a real treat because it has all the different ways that people have listed, as well as all the ways that I know of. And at this time, I want to give a shout out to El Odysseus, who gave not only ways that I have never heard of in Finale, but also the most number of ways that anyone suggested in the comments. And one last thing before we get started, the next challenge is coming out later this week. So if you want to participate in it, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified when it comes out. So let's dive in. So the first way is simply applying an articulation with the articulation tool. You just click and then it brings you up the menu options and you apply the articulation. You've probably seen that before. The next way is very similar. We're still in the articulation tool. You can apply a meta key. So for instance, each of these, there is a letter in the upper right hand corner. And so if you hold it down, like in this case, I'm holding down A for accent and then click, you get an accent. You can also do this for dragging. And that's way number three to drag with the meta tool. So just apply the meta tool and then drag. And another way to apply articulations is if you have a selection, you can come up to utilities, apply articulation, and then either hit the number or select and get the box again. So like if I want to hit B for ties, and there we go. Another way, which many of you probably don't know, which is way number five, that you can quickly and easily apply articulations in simple entry, is when you have an entry selected, you can actually hit option A and hit any meta tool you want. So A for accent, and it brings you up an accent on that note. And I am still in simple entry. So I can go over here and do option A and then S for staccato, and I have a staccato. At this point, it's also worth noting that you can change what these meta tools are by when you have the articulation tool, hit shift and then a letter. So like if I want to change accent to Q, I could do shift Q and then just select the accent. And now Q is the new meta tool for accent. As you can see, it's under Q and not what it was before over here. Another way to apply articulations is with the edit filter, which allows you to copy and specifically paste specific parts of music. So if you come up here to edit, edit filter, you can actually click none and then just apply articulations. And now whenever you copy and then paste, it pastes just the articulations. You can also speed up this process greatly by using a macro plugin such as Keyboard Maestro. You can also, if you want to get really creative, create it as a smart shape. So with the smart shape tool, option click this diamond, which is the custom line tool. And then you can create a new smart line and basically just make sure that the thickness is zero and then create whatever start and end points you want for the articulations. And the next, the way I've never heard of, which is way number eight, is the smart find and paint tool. You can find it by going up to edit and then smart find and paint. So that's smart find and paint source region, or you could just do command F to select the region. And now with command shift F, you can basically paint the slurs, articulation, smart shapes, expressions, or anywhere. And you could paint it everywhere where there's the same exact pattern. So now I've just quickly applied it to all these other measures. And to deselect a region, just hit Command F with nothing selected. And while we're on the process of adding in articulations quickly, we can't skip scripting. So of course for number nine, we have Finale Script, which you can find under Plugins, Finale Script, Finale Script Palette. And then you can create a new plugin that can quickly add whatever articulations you want. For instance, let's edit it and then type in the script and then hit run script and it adds the articulation. Of course, you could always change the actual articulation you add and you can assign this to a keyboard shortcut. And for number 10, you can do a similar thing with keyboard maestro and you could just select a region and apply the articulation. And for 11 and 12, they're basically the same thing. You can basically find a script to do it for you in JW Lua and code it up in the class browser articulation. And you just basically add this articulation to a note by going to no entry and then add articulations. And 12 is finally taking that idea and using it in the stream deck. We're under entry articulation. You have a wide variety of articulations you can choose from including a bunch of scoops and falls. So that is 12 different ways you can apply articulations in Finale. Did you learn something? Do you know of another one? 
I'm really curious to see what you think in the comments below. As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest, so if you don't want to miss out on any of those, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out.